Welcome to episode two of Moving to Maryland. Today, we're gonna to talk about a great neighborhood off of the Baltimore Beltway, Towson. I'm here with Kurt McCabe and Megan Lakin. How are you guys? Good morning, I'm good. Hey, great. And I'm your host, Ron Howard. Woohoo! So, <laughs> Kurt, let's start with you. You grew up right around Towson. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a really, really great childhood. I grew up in Lock Raven Village, and my mother just had this like wild child, let the kid off the leash type of childhood. And I am not kidding. There was no place I didn't go on my bike. It was totally fun. And we were, I believe me, I know every nook and cranny from a bike perspective of a nine-year-old Kurt McCabe. I know Towson. <laughs> so for somebody thinking about moving to Towson, where would you describe the location? Uh, so, uh, it's inside the beltway of, uh, that's totally a Baltimore thing called the beltway or 695 and the intersection of route 83, since I'm being a Baltimorean, I'm going to call that the Harrisburg expressway. Um, <laughs> it's just inside there. Super, super convenient. Uh, depending on how you wanted to move in and out of the city, you got Charles street, York yeah. road. Yeah. Super, super convenient. Yeah. It's a so, great spot. I mean, for me, you know, I actually moved to Towson very recently. Um, uh, but the, major thing for me and my husband was that it was so close to Baltimore city still like it's still its own like suburbia, mm -hmm. but you are 20, 25 minutes from Baltimore city. So. And almost because it being inside the beltway, it almost feels like it's part of the city, right? Yes. Yeah. It, it definitely, or at least you have touches of, uh, you know, like your urban lifestyle, but mm -hmm. you're still a suburban community. If that makes sense. Like, suburban Mecca. Well, let's yeah. go with that. What the <laughs> heck? We're going to call this suburban Mecca. <laughs> At least for this, uh, Maryland, we'll call it, for, the, for Baltimore County it is. <laughs> it's it's a very well-known city, I think, because of the way it's connected to Towson University and uh, a lot of other things, the, the mall that a lot of people you know grew up going to. Right. So mm -hmm. um, what are some of the uh, major roadways in and out? Like say you're going to drive down to the city or drive north. Well, let's think of it in terms of a traffic prime time. And if you live in Towson and you're like, oh my gosh, the Beltway 695 is jammed. How am I going to get in and out of my job at the city? Charles Street, York Road. I mean, these are the major thoroughfares in and out of the city. Uh, I'm sure there's a few other shortcuts to get you in and out of that uh, part of the, out of the, uh, in and out of Towson. But I mean, there you go. Or if you, you, you work in the county, it's not too far away. You got the Falls Road corridor as well. Yeah. Green Tree Valley, York yep. Joppa Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And I think for me, like, it's so easy to just take 83. Like if I, I try to avoid 695 just because of the traffic. But sure. uh, for me, I mean, 83, like I just shoot right down. It's 20 minutes to the city. But mm -hmm. I also am able to take those kind of back roads and actually get to feel and see a little bit more of the community as well. Because it's, it's really nice to just kind of, again, it's not the Baltimore, but when you drive down those back roads, you're able to see different pockets of Towson, which is really cool. And you know, when we talk about neighborhoods in the city, we, we commingle them with the surrounding neighborhoods. And yeah. it, it's kind of like you talk about that whole community around like Locust Point and Federal Hill. Um, in Towson, talk about the community a bit, Kurt. How's the community feel in, in Towson? So if we wanna, the Towson circle, as being somewhere the hub or Towson Square or Towson University. That's let's call that downtown Towson. Mm -hmm. um, you know, to the east, the far east, we have Lock Raven Village. Just south of there is Rogers Forge. To the west is Ruxton, Riderwood. Um, it's th there's definitely the suburban vibe around the community. But again, you're very accessible to downtown Towson um, to the shopping, the sure. nightlife. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for me, like, I, I'm very, like, surrounded by social media. That's kind of how I grew up. So, for me, I always look on Facebook. And especially in Baltimore City, you have, like, Fells Point groups, things like that. But there's a Towson group. And in there, I mean, people are constantly like, hey, I'd love to – I'm new to the area. I'd love to meet you all. Let's hook up. Like, it's just – the sense of community there is is a big aspect to me because it is kind of a large area Towson because it encompasses all different neighborhoods, but having that connection via Facebook or that group just makes it feel all that more intimate. Sure. And l let's talk about walkability. Yeah. I mean, you have, like you said, kind of Towson circle, Towson um, center, which is where the mall is and everything. And kind of in that area, you have not only grocery stores, but my hair salons down there, nail salons, the mall, music halls, uh, the wrecker. And then a bunch of like restaurants and nightlife down there too. 
Yeah, I, I think it's worth noting that, I mean, within Towson proper downtown, it is very walkable. If you drive your car there, park it on a Saturday night, you can go to a bar, a restaurant, and have a good time. But it is suburban, mm -hmm. suburbia. So you, if you live in one of the communities I described around the center of Towson, you're going to be driving. Yeah. But that's suburban lifestyle. And that's one of the things that you're attracted to that part of the town is because it's the suburb, suburban lifestyle. Right. What about green space in Towson? Uh, honestly, the, the closest green space in Towson isn't in Towson. It's the Lock Raven Reservoir, which is just up York Road, Delaney Valley Road, every bit of... 15-ish minutes or so, yeah. huge, huge reservoir, uh, community park there, but uh, maybe Towson, but there isn't a lot of down. I mean, there are little nooks and crannies, little neighborhood, little children tot lots and so forth. But so far, significant green space, Lock River Reservoir. Yeah, I would agree. Sure. But I think you said you take your kid um, to a park near where yeah, we So when are. we eat at the uh, at Cunningham's, right? Um, we'll walk over to a park. It's it's a few blocks away. I believe it's Towson Manor Park yeah. or playground mm -hmm. and a uh, great playground. Um, yeah. yeah. I and mean, I think it's cool, too, because not only is it good for like suburbia and, and building a family and having your kids there, but also like you're surrounded by universities and colleges there. You have Towson University, Goucher. So if you are you know, you could be an older adult looking to take more classes. Like, it, they're there. Right. Um, but also, it's just good for undergrad. It's just a really good spot. Yeah, I mean, whenever you uh, – I'll pick on U.S. News and World Reports or whatever it is, top 10 neighborhoods or communities. I'm not putting Towson in that bucket per se, but they're often college towns. Mm -hmm. So nationally, college towns are generally more vibrant places to live that attract people to want to live there because of that kind of – life, if you will, uh, that brings to a town. And Towson has Towson University, Goucher. Right. Uh, and that's a part of that. Not to be confused with the college town, but it kind of right. adds a little that little life to it, if you will. And the public schools are really good there, right? Yeah. I mean, you have Stonely Elementary, um, a Cambridge school. There's Rogers Forge Elementary. So it's not just upper education and academics. You also have, uh, for those who are building a family, you do have elementary schools down there. Great public schools. You can go anywhere with private schools, but yeah. it, w so far as accessibility, there's a handful of very close uh, private schools as well. Yeah. What about the restaurant nightlife scene? That's you. <laughs> I mean, for me, um, there's just endless kind of opportunities. So, I mean, I love Cunningham's Bakery or Cafe. Awesome spot to get some coffee and a really nice pastry. But then above it, you have Perennial, which is a new Atlas Group rest uh, restaurant. And Atlas Group, if everybody's from Baltimore. Um, Atlas Group is very well known in the city, uh, but they started to kind of uh, expand their reach to Towson. Oh, Perennial is great. Yeah, it's an awesome spot. But then you have um, Banditos, which is a good spot for Mexi Love it. Mexican. Uh, I've gone to the point, which is actually also here in Fells Point. Um, but I, you just have kind of endless, again, endless opportunities to go to restaurants and, and really experience different types of foods and, and lifestyles. And I, I have to, my personal favorite, Towson Diner, going old school. <laughs> Everybody loves the diner. Yeah. Love diners. You have to be diner. a member to uh, go there? Yeah. I'll, you pay me <laughs> enough money, I'll tell you how to get in. So, Kurt, tell us about the, uh, the real estate options. Now, you, you know, there's, there's uh, quite a range, right? Yeah. No. Uh, I, I, because I grew up in Lock Raven Village, I grew up in these, you know, solidly built brick houses in the 1950s. They're, they're solid. They're fantastic. It's easy to buy homes. And that's uh, that type of housing stock is in Rogers Forge, which is fantastic. Uh, this is a place where people can start a family, and depending, they could stay there. They don't. It doesn't have to be a starter home. It's really a fantastic community. Uh, I mean, truly a fantastic community in Rogers Forge. But you can expand beyond that, depending on your budget. You can go west to Ruxton, Riderwood. Mm -hmm. um, you're just hop skipping and jumping away from Green Spring Valley, which is not Towson. Um, you can move a little venture just outside the Beltway, uh, North Towson, it's called Lutherville. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of options. You can go south. There's south of Rogers Forge. There's Stonely, Annesley, and next thing you know, you're in Cedarcroft. I mean, see, these are all. I mean, you can run the gamut as far as pricing. And if you're on a budget, there are some condos in Towson that mm -hmm. are very reasonably priced. The penthouse building. That's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Ruxton is right yeah. next to Towson. You almost yeah. sometimes I hear people consider it Towson. Yeah. 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 Totally. I mean, and I, West Towson. Forgive me. I, you yeah. Forgive me. Yes. And West Towson. 
Yeah, I think for me, like, excuse me, I think Towson is a little bit of a mixture of everything. You have row homes where you're really next to people, um, but you also have single family homes that give you that kind of space of, you know, privacy. However, I would say the single family homes you can get, like, especially in Stonely, you're you're still surrounded by your neighbors, which is really cool. But like, if you move out kind of like where I am in Ruxton, you have really awesome historic homes, like beautiful grand historic homes with lots of privacy and yard space. Um, so it's it's kind of personal preference if you want to be next to somebody who's really close to your neighbors and has that feel where you can also get a house where you have a little bit more space and kind of privacy for yourself. Yeah, so I think of Towson, uh, range of housing, uh, great shopping, great groceries, um, uh, close by uh, green space, uh, you know, to the watershed. Um, nice playground we go to. Good restaurant scene, good nightlife scene, uh, live music at the record theater. Mm-hmm. Like who hasn't been to a concert there like 20 plus times? <laughs> um, you know, the, the mall is how I first found Towson back in high school. Yeah. Went to the Towson Mall. You go to Columbia Mall, Towson Mall, back, in, back when malls were, you know, a big thing, right? <laughs> So let's wrap this up. Uh, if you were saying to somebody like the, you know, the, the, the key reasons they should consider moving to Towson, what would you say? For me, it was the convenience to stay in the city. Like we, when I moved, I wanted to have yard space. I wanted to have, um, not be on top of, you know, restaurants and bars. I want, I was okay with the drive, but I still wanted to feel very close to the city because I absolutely love the city. So for me, if you're wanting to kind of, be away from the city life, but have accessibility to still be with nightlife, restaurants, Towson is the place to be. It's suburbia and it's fantastic. If that's what you're looking for, it's a fantastic suburban uh, community, accessibility to all the major routes in the general area. And uh, if I were to use one word, I, I'm gonna use the word family because mm-hmm. whether family is a part of who you wanna be in the future or who you are at this time, that's a place where you can generally raise a family and be there for decades. Yeah. The, the general Towson community is fantastic. So in a word, I'll use family. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's really good information, guys. So we are all real estate agents. We work with the greatest moves team at Remax Advantage Realty. And if you are interested in exploring Towson or some of the surrounding communities uh, around the Baltimore Metro, reach out. Our contact info is in this post and we hope to see you soon. Take care. Mm-hmm.